I'm Teresa Delata, and I'm a leader with Beacon, and have been a parishioner of St. Joan of Arc Catholic Community for almost 20 years here in South Minneapolis. I am also a person who has experienced the trauma of homelessness many times, and have been for the for several years housing insecure because I pay over 70% of my income each month towards rent for a one bedroom apartment. Although I have struggled with homelessness on and off and housing insecurity, I was unable to get on the wait list for a Section 8 choice voucher until March of 2019. I finally won the lottery. You see, you don't just get a voucher because you qualify. You have to apply online and hope, pray that you are the one that you are one of the few that get on the wait list. I called the Minneapolis Housing Authority last October to make sure my info was up to date. The person told me that they are just issuing choice vouchers to people who got on the wait list in 2008. Every year my rent goes up and I now pay almost $1,200 a month for rent. That is most of my disability check. And due to my physical health issues, I cannot be without housing. Rent has always got to come first every single month. I can't plug in my CPAP machine while living in a tent encampment. And that is the reality for me and others, not just in Minneapolis, but across the state of Minnesota. My story illustrates that there isn't just one solution, but a continuum. Our community needs more just housing policy locally and statewide. We need to build new supportive homes that are deeply affordable, and we want the homes we already have to be affordable. We aren't powerless, but we will need to unite our voices and make our vision known if our elected leaders are to make the choice to build a city and state for all of us. One policy I've worked on is rent stabilization as a leader with Isaiah as part of the Home to Stay Coalition. Beacon supported this initiative leading up to the election day last year. We celebrate that voters said yes. The work group has been finalized to work for, on the actual policy and hopefully we will have a policy that supports renters like me who are worried about being priced out of their homes. As I said, I am on a wait list for a Section 8 choice voucher. I have 12 more years of being on this wait list before I actually get a voucher so that my rent will only be 30% of my income instead of over 70%. 12 more years. So the rent stabilization is vital to me and others as we wait on the, this list to continue to have a place to call home. We have more pieces to the puzzle around affordable housing. Rent stabilization is only one piece to the puzzle. We will hear the other pieces to the puzzle tonight. These pieces of the puzzle cannot be moved by one person. It will take all of us, all our congregations, each and every one of us to end homelessness and housing insecurity. We have the power together. And knowing that we are all here as a collaborative to move these puzzle pieces gives me so much hope. We will end homelessness and housing insecurity. Thank you.